Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross and today I am reviewing... Pearl. <laughs> So, this is written by Ty West and Mia Goff, directed by Ty West, starring Mia Goff as the title character of Pearl. So this is a prequel to Ty West's uh, previous film that came out earlier this year called X, uh, only this time it focuses on the creepy old woman, Pearl, played by Mia Goff, and yeah, she actually played Pearl in X as well with all that old makeup and everything. I honestly did not know that was her. But, yeah, she played two roles in X. But in this one, she's just playing the one role. She's playing Pearl. So this uh, is set in around the farm and everything that X is set in, where it takes place in. And uh, in this, it's following a young Pearl 61 years before the events of X, where she uh, is living with her parents whilst her husband Howard is out at war because this is set in 1918 the dying days of World War One and the start of the Spanish flu pandemic so Pearl she dreams of being a star a star dancer making it big but you know she eventually just you know with the abuse from her mother and also you know her forced to do all this farm stuff and with the height of a pandemic she slowly spirals into insanity and goes insane and become you know to the point where she becomes the insane creepy woman we knew her in x so that is all the essential story i will tell you so what did i like about this well first of all mia goff she was fantastic in this you know when she put on a different southern accent american southern accent because she's british she sounded very good in this and she did quite the performance some points actually i found her acting unsettling when she was in the character of pearl you know how creepy and how unsettling she was and she she did a great job in this in fact her and ty west wrote this during the lockdown in the pandemic so you know, I can get why they referenced the Spanish flu pandemic, because for me, when they were highlighting that the, the Spanish flu pandemic a hundred years ago now, you know, it was kind of telling me that, you know, COVID-19 isn't the first time a pandemic's hit us like this. You know, a hundred years back, we had the Spanish flu pandemic, which was a very deadly flu virus back then. And people did have to isolate and wear masks and quarantine. And that's the message I got from that, you know, that history has had its problems like we've had before over the last couple of years with this COVID-19 pandemic. And just shows that, you know, history can have a habit of repeating itself. That, that's what I got back from that with the Spanish flu pandemic. Uh, I also like the other characters we got in this, including Pearl's parents. Her father, he was like paralyzed, like I don't know exactly what he had. He looked like he had polio, but he couldn't move at all. And then there was her mother, who was a German woman, who you know, was quite the abusive woman. Kind of gave me the vibes of like Joker, Psycho, and Carrie. You know, Carrie, you know, Margaret White, you know, not Carrie White vibes from her mother. There was also another guy who was a projectionist at this theatre she went to where she'd watch reels of people dancing um, and you know she formed a connection with him but then he realised she was Doolally and she went psycho but yeah um, you know like Joker as well it is a slow build up I mean it's not a two hour film it's just under two hours about 101 minutes and um, you know we slowly see pearl spiral and slowly lose her sanity as she goes psycho and she eventually does flip she snaps at the end and goes all killer and you know even her sister-in-law she's a good character as well and basically you know she eventually sees pearl come out of her shell and see her what you know that she's deranged and everything and then there was the ending 
Now, I won't give the ending away, but the ending, it's let the credits roll as she constantly smiles at the camera. And eventually, after a while, that gets unsettling. Like, she's staring right into our souls, you know, with the credits rolling and eventually it closes in and that. But, um, yeah, this was, it was a good film. We had the alligator as well, like in X we had an alligator. Don't know if it's the same alligator, because I'm not 100% sure on how long alligators live for. But the alligator did lay eggs, so, you know, clearly there's a whole nesting ground. Maybe there's more than one alligator out there. Because Pearl, she does feed the alligator in gruesome ways. There's even a moment in there, that I gotta warn you as well, prepare for some weird moments. There's a moment with a scarecrow as well, which I'll leave to your imaginations till you watch it. But, you know, I thought this was a good film. Yeah, there, there were its flaws. It was a slow build. It took about maybe the last hour to where it started to pick up, where she started losing it. And yeah, but Mia Goff, you know, she was the sole star of this film. She was the main event. And at some points, I could sympathise with Pearl. I could get where she was coming from. Like, you know, like, you know, the abuse she had and, you know, the sinfulness and, you know, people thinking she hasn't got what it takes. You know, and her fantasy of being a big star. You know, I can, I can, I can relate to that, you know, like... You can understand why she goes off the edge, but uh, yeah, this was this was a good film from Ty West. So whether it'll do a follow-on to this, I'm not sure, because it kind of does leave it open for maybe a continuation of it. But I know that the next instalment in this trilogy, because yes, Ty West confirmed that he is making an X trilogy that started with X, then it carried with Pearl, which is a prequel. I believe the next one is going to take place after the events of X, so it's going to be a sequel. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll get a spin-off, I don't know. I honestly don't, but Pearl was a good one, and I did enjoy watching it, so... Pearl, what am I going to rate this one? Um, you know what, I will actually give this four stabs out of five. Four stabs out of five for Pearl. So there you go, there's your review for this one. So have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below if you have. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and to feel free to subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. No pressure, but it just means a great deal to me if you do. But that choice is all down to you. It's yours alone. Anyway, yes, hope everybody's well. And until next time... Do enough nightmares.